Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Betty. Some scary moments this afternoon throughout the valley as first responders in both Fargo and Grand Forks received separate reports of mass casualty events at big box stores. It comes as tensions are already high in the area after the deadly police officer shooting in Fargo this summer. But as we soon found out this time, the reports weren't real. Valley News team Zoe Jones joins us live in studio to tell us what we know so far. Zoe. Well, Justin, these calls came in almost at the exact same time. Officers in both Fargo and Grand Forks responded to some serious reports. Fargo police were called to Fleet Farm at 3730 36th Street South in Fargo just before 5 p.m. The initial dispatch call was for a bomb that had exploded in the store, injuring dozens of people. Here's what the scanner audio had to say. Caller stated that there was a bomb that exploded at this location and that there were 80 customers injured. Um, caller disconnected, attention call back. A short time later, the first responders on scene said Fleet Farm looked to be operating as normal and the manager at the time hadn't heard anything about that kind of incident. Fargo police confirmed with Valley News Live that officers responded and determined that the report was false. No injuries were reported and police say there is no known threat to the public. Now a similar call was made about mass casualties at a Walmart in Grand Forks at Sergeant Andrew Ebertowski told Valley News Live that officers responded to both of the Walmart locations just before 5 p.m. because the caller didn't indicate which location the emergency was at. Sergeant Ebertowski says officers spoke with employees and customers and determined that the 911 call was a hoax. Ebertowski said to Valley News Live, quote, unfortunately, this is something that's happening across our country, and it's not the first time in Grand Forks either. Both Fargo and Grand Forks police say follow up investigations are currently being conducted to try to determine who made the false calls. Justin. So if you have any information regarding these fake calls, you are encouraged to contact police as well.